All right. Oh, that is so lame. Uh, all right, I'm going to spend two in order to cast Shatter. On your Shatter Palladium is mirror. destroy... Destroy target artifact on Palladium Myrrh. Palladium Myrrh is dead. Goodbye. All right, and then I'm going to spend one in order to in order to make my Chimeric Mask creature this turn. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to swing... Yeah, I'm going to swing out. So four, six, uh, why did um, I, nine, and two. Th this th uh, can can my can my little blue guy like point at stuff just to say like what the fuck? Okay, dark steel mirror is gonna point at my temper steel. Like what the fuck, cloud? Just what the fuck? You misread the card. That's gonna cost you the game now. Dark steel mirror is going. Can we move to declare blockers, please? Oh yes. Thank you. Dark Seal Murr is going to block your Chimeric Idol. I take two infects, so I get two more poison counters. And feeling, then five feeling damage. a little fluey right now. And then five damage from your unblocked creature. So you just regain the lead. Alright. And with fourth, that, I'm at 11. I will end, which knocks my Chimeric Mass back to being an artifact. Okay. Alright. But you still have one mana to make him a 4 4 creature, even during my turn. God. Damn it. Put down the Mox Opal. Yay. He doesn't even have... It doesn't even have Metalcraft right now. Uh, oh, yeah, it does. Come on, don't... Don't make no, no, me don't do this. No. It is... I feel like it's futile. Um, I gotta stop the bleed, though. Okay, no, maybe, maybe not. If I still had a Memnite, I would, you know, this would be looking a little differently for me. Um, I'm going to pay four for my skin render. All right. Inflict three minus one, minus one counters on your Berserkers. All right, and my Berserkers are deaded. And that is, no, no, it's not. I, I have to hit you. I'm going to swing at you for two. All right, I'm going to spend one to have my Chimeric Mask uh, become a creature. I fucking forgot you could do that. All right, all right, nothing happens. I end my turn, and now I'm down a blocker. Oh, the mi these mistakes! <laughs> Mind you, I'm not sure, entirely sure if Chimeric Mask uh, go, uh, becomes untapped when I do that. So I might have accidentally just cheated. Oh, there. wait, wait, he's not, he's, not, he's not untapped. He's not okay. untapped. You can't block with him. All right, in that case, I'll take two. Oh, my. Thank you, technicalities. Mm. All right, uh, I'm going to put down another mountain, mm. and Day then uh, I'm going to spend Day another five. four uh, to play another Chimeric Mass with four charge counters on him. <laughs> that is awesome. Mm. Um, and then... Uh, and then I'm going to end my turn. Ah, I see. Sounds like mercy. Hmm. Uh, I don't like how this deck is, is treating me right now, and I don't like how I've been treating this deck. You have a couple 4-4 four, four guys that you could declare as blockers, so I have to end my turn. God right. damn it. Memnite, I love you. I'm going to put you out right. here because right now you're my goddamn phantom. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to spend six in order to yep. cast the Horde Smelter For Dragon. The... Ooh, it's a dragon. Yes. A and of course it has a destroy wagon. target artifact. You cannot destroy artifacts that have indestructible, mister. <laughs> yeah, but you've got Mox Opal, so I'll be able to blow up something later. I'll end <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but it gets plus X plus zero. Mox Opal's a zero trap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy to be laughing. I'm not. I'm not terribly. God damn it! I'm not terribly pleased that your winning streak is gonna keep going because I'm, there's no fucking way I'm gonna win this game. <laughs> Pave two to get him out. He's a four four creature. Wait, what am I? It's, 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 
So, sorry, it's I have to adjust power and toughness, not add counters. Uh, so these are four four. And I'll take these yellow counters off by not putting more counters on him. This guy's gone to Mardi Gras. Okay. Thank you, game. Um, so, uh, about that. Um, I can't... Now that, you gotta, now that you're showing a 5-5, five five, I can't fucking hit you. So I'm going to end my turn. I, I think right. this is it. It might because be that you got on five my top deck is. I mean, you could swing at me for, like, nine. Mm, oh, wait, I no, see. Black Cleave Goblin doesn't deal damage. That's right. Mm, well, I can still swing at you for eight. Mm, let's see. It's one, two, three, four. And I'm going to have Horde Smelter Dragon uh, destroy Palladium Mirror. And he gets... And that could... And then it's that card's converted man cost. But Gerda, you have two chimeric masses that are just waiting to be animated. I do, and you have no just cards kill in me. hand. Just kill me. Just it's it's Damn over. It. Fine. It's, it's over, dude. You got it. Fine. I'll bring out the chimeric masses. Like I, I, I am pretty. Sh I am pretty sure there's nothing I can do about this. I'm actually glad that that now that you know what, Memnite is looking right at this guy. He's saying thank you. Now my sacrifice has not been in vain because it was futile the entire time. So you're swinging at me for you're swinging uh, at me for eight, 15 ten. damage. Eight of that is in the air, which I have to take. So I'm down to three, and now I have to resolve the rest of these motherfuckers, even though I don't have enough creatures to block this. Uh, so yeah, Dark Steel Mur is going to hit the first mass. Skin Render is going to hit the Volshock dude, and then I take four damage and then gain two more poisons. So I lose. And that's that. Uh, and once again, Gerdat wins with a flying dragon win condition. Well, he's not really here because he's a flying dragon, although it helps. He's actually here because I was worried, like, oh, hell, you were going to run mere battle sphere. And I'm like, I need to have a good counter for that. Mere battle sphere, yeah, right. I, I mean, mere battle sphere is also, I'm going to concede the game. Uh, mere battle sphere is a, also a very stupid card, but... You know, I thought I put enough stupidity in this deck. All right, uh, there's a particular combo I want to show off before we uh, before we end today. All right, can I can I do that, please? Yes. All right. So the the reason why I was uh, the reason why I was uh, casting uh, Chimeric Mass as a four, uh, uh, with uh, four charge counters is to have him be a four four when he came out. Four four is really really nice. However, the reason why it's so nice is because I have a two-card uh, uh, a spell combo that makes it so I win the game if he's unblockable, if he goes unblocked. Tainted Strike, which gives my creature plus one, plus zero, and infect, and Assault Strobe, which gives my creature double strike. Nice. So, if my Right, and, mess, then, and then Tainted Strike gives the creature infect, so you're going to land for lethal damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to actually show this off. I mean, I got all the, I got all uh, two of the three pieces for it at one point, but I didn't have a salt strobe, so I didn't get a chance to show it off. I was hoping to actually get, uh, get an infect victory on you, but it did not happen. You're reading a lot of interesting cards here, though. Oh man, you didn't get to show yeah, off. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of these cards, a lot of these cards never appeared. Revoke existence is probably the most glaring, you know, omission from these games because I'm running fucking. Actually, how many of these am I running? Because if I'm running only one, that's just. Yeah, I got I got to get in the habit of making my decks a little more focused. They they got a little ADHD going on. They want to they want to do this. They want to do that. They want to do the other thing, but they realize they don't have enough time to do it. Um, True Conviction was the card that I confused Tempered Steel for. If I had True Conviction out, that game would have ended a little differently because I would have actually been gaining life with an indestructible 4-4. No, I was gaining, I was gaining 4 life every turn with an indestructible 2-3. So that was a thing. Um, my prototype portal in testing is surprisingly useful when used with Memnite because all you have to do is tap the portal and you don't have to tap mana because Memnite is a zero converted mana cost creature. And you just put a token. You you put a token copy of Memnite every single turn. 
Uh, Steel Hellkite, I believe, had appeared in the explorations once or twice, and he's pretty cool. The Indomitable Archangel would have stopped you from fucking pinging me with your with your removal, because that ruined me th those past two games. And the Bleak Coven Vampires would have, you know, done stuff, because I usually had at least three artifacts on the field at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're using Painsmith. Uh, yes, I am using Painsmith. Um, because um, I, I'm going to be honest, uh, uh, Scars of Mirrodin is a very artifact-heavy set, but I wanted to I wanted to show off um, very specifically a lot of the stuff that wasn't actually artifacts in this set, which is very little stuff to be perfectly honest. There's there's like a human tribe and a vampire tribe, and that's pretty much it uh, when we go when, for Scars of Mirrodin. I mean, there's an elemental tribe as well, but, like, you know, it's like this dude, and that's almost it. Hmm. You see, Scars of Mirrodin is what happens see, to Mirrodin I after Phyrexia hmm. shows up, so. I had Unless painful we forget in our second game, but uh, I didn't get, uh, um, I ended the game before, I, before it was opportune to cast it. Plus, you were at zero cards by then, so, uh, yeah. Painful quandary is an yeah, awesome so was a tool card. Yeah, yeah. Let's let let if, let me let me put my let me put my mouse down for a second. Here's here's a control. Control wins games. That's why that's why we control. I just like I don't want to get in the habit of countering your your flying win condition because I'm pretty sure that that's gonna that's gonna come back to haunt me in another exploration set. Um, I mean, my, my deck was testing. Okay. It's just, I, the, the inconsistent, the inconsistent probability fucking caught up with me and I couldn't, I, I was getting too much mana, even though I'm only running 21 land cards and that kills me. Yeah. We've been having mana issues like, uh, like for the past several asset, asset explorations. Well, let's maybe we should start like a rematch series. <laughs> well, I want to do a rematch series uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, well, maybe rematches in Magic when it becomes conspicuously obvious that something went terribly, terribly wrong during this just another uh, iteration of the deck loadout. You know what we could do is we could ha as we could house rule a, color a colorless mana uh, method. And what is what what is the colorless mana method? Uh, well, in in uh in magic in magic TCG theory, um, a, 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 a colorless mana is worth approximately half of one card in your hand. So what we could do is we could say if you want to generate um a a colorless mana before turn five, uh, you could discard a card, uh, and that would generate one free colorless mana. Got you, because one card is worth... No, half a card is worth one colorless, so if you discard a whole card, that's two mana. Well, I would still have it be one mana, because, you know, if you're, that des if you're that desperate for mana, it better be worth it. <laughs> well, I think I'm satisfied with how I displayed Scars of Meriden by losing, of course, to Infect, and... I wanted to have an opportunity to play the Worm Coil Engine because I fucking died to this card because my buddy ran it, and it's really powerful, especially when you get it. I mean, I got that out on... What turn? That, that was like a turn five or six drop, so that was, that was good for me. But what helps is if the Worm Coil Engine stays alive long enough so you can keep gaining life like I was. So I think I hit you like three... I, I, know, I, I know I gained 12 life off of that, so that's, yeah. that was a thing. Worm Coil Engine is disgustingly powerful, to the point where uh, Cody was running it in Tron, and it was like, I'm not really worried about the Eldrazi, Cody. I'm trying to counter Worm Coil. I can't do it yet, but, I, but I'll find a way. We're going to exile him, damn it. He can't be allowed to live or die. Just must that's, what pa that's what uh, Path to Exile is for. Anyway, this has been us exploring Scars and Mirrodin. We actually did a pretty, pretty decent job with this, um, despite the yeah. fact that uh, we're both running black. And 
you are on a winning streak right now, so I owe I owe you I owe you one you know severe defeat at some point. It's it's coming. It's coming. No, nobody can win forever. Mm, so says the cloud person. All right, everybody, be safe. Peace out, y'all.